Welcome back. This is episode seven of Altus Campus's eight-part series on radiation safety for, for, for fluoroscopy. I'm Joseph Mahoney. We've talked about how to protect yourself and uh, other people from radiation scatter. In this episode, we will be talking about how to optimize patient radiation dose. So first, we'll review um, how to actually measure image quality quantitatively. Um, it's easy to, uh, to look at one image and look at another and tell which one's better, but um, it, it would be nice if we had some kind of a number that we could evaluate um, to compare one to the other. Uh, then we'll talk about factors that affect radiation dose. Certainly patient size is one. Um, different types of procedures require uh, better imaging um, and some you can, uh, you can get away with a lower dose and a little bit less image quality. So we'll talk about how to tailor radiation dose for individual patients and some best practices that you should just um, generally use for all patients to minimize uh, radiation do dose to those patients. The takeaway points for this talk, um, we uh, want you to know how patient size affects radiation dose and um, you know it's, uh, it's, it's fairly obvious bigger patients are going to uh, drive the x-ray tube harder and, um, and create, uh, require higher radiation dose, but um, we'll, we'll get in a little more specifics of that. Um, we'd like to know the definition of SNR, signal to noise ratio. The effect of surface to skin distance and surface to image distance on the patient's skin dose. The effect that pulse rate has on patient dose and uh, what, to, what to do with those numbers that show up on your, uh, on your monitor. Uh, 